in gospodje, Nik Vujđić. Hvala, hvala lepo. Hvala, hvala. Hvala Bogu. Dobro večer. So good to be here. Zelo lepo je biti tukaj z vami. Moj srpsko nije jako dobro uopšte. Ja sam naučio srpsko od babe i deda kad ja sam bio mali, ali sad imam 28 godine i ja sam zaboravio, ja sam zaboravio sve. Ne sve, nije tako loše, ali nije jako dobro uopšte za danas. Anyway, it's fantastic to be here today. Čudovito je biti tukaj z vami. I want to thank you. Did you like the choir? Ali vam je bil šeč zbor? Wasn't the choir awesome? Ali niso bili super? The pianist as well, the guy playing the keyboard. I pianist, Urban Grabinšek, je bil čudovit. I taught him. Jaz sem ga učil. No, čekaj. I'm kidding. I love to joke around. Rad se šalim. But seriously, thank you to 250 volunteers, so many churches working together in this organization. This is my first time in Slovenia and not my last. Ampak resnično, rad bi se zahvalil. Rad bi se zahvalil vsem 250 prostovoljcem, ki so trdo delali, vsem crkvam, ki so se združile za ta namen, Društvo za živi življenje in za gotovo nisem zadnič tukaj. My name is Nick. Moje ime je Nick. And I'm from Australia. Sem iz Avstralije. I live now in California. Sedaj živim v Kaliforniji. And it's just fantastic to be able to travel around and spread a message of hope. In čudovito je potovati po svetu in širiti sporočilo upanja. I hope that tonight you're not just entertained. Upam, da v tem večeru se ne boste samo zabavali. But that you leave here with something new. Ampak, da boste učili iz tega mesta z nečem novim. And not just something new that's going to make you feel good for two weeks. Ne samo z nečem novim, da se boste počutili dobro za dva tedna. But to learn attitude and perspective in life. Ampak, da se boste naučili določenih novih drž in imeli perspektivo za svoje življenje. But most of all, to have a faith. Še bolj kot to pa, da bi imeli vero. A faith in God. Vero v Boga. Because that's the only thing that could help me. Zaradi tega, ker to je bila edina stvar, ki mi je lahko pomagala. People ask me, Nick, how come you smile so much? Ljudje me kar naprej sprašujo, pa Nick, kako se ti lahko kar naprej smeješ? Is that smile real? A je tvoj nasmeh resničen? Yes. Da. Stvarno. But we have ups and downs. Seveda imamo spone in pace. I'm not a superhero. Jaz nisem noben superheroj. I haven't got some sort of formula. Nimam nikakršne formule. I have my ups and downs. Imam svoje spone in pace. You see my foot? Vidite moje nogico. Yeah, ups and downs, ups and downs. Spone in pace. And though life is life. In življenje pa življenje. Sometimes you have good days and bad days. Časih imaš dobre dneve, časih slabe. Sometimes we have huge questions and we don't know the answers to. Časih imamo veliko vprašanje, na katerih nimamo odgovore. So I hope to inspire you. Zato upam, da vam zbom tem večeru lahko samo navdihnil. Before we get into it, I always open up with a couple funny stories. In predno bom začel govoriti, bi vam rad povedal nekaj smešnih zgodb. I have so many funny experiences around the world with how people react to me. Imam kar precej smešnih zgodb, posebej glede tega, kako se ljudje odzivajo na me. And there was this one little kid who made me laugh so much. In bil je en otrok, ki me je zares nasmejal. I love kids. Zelo rad imam otrok. He looked at me. Ta otrok me je pogledal. And he's confused. In je bil zmeden. And he's got his arms crossed. In je imel takole roke prekrižene. He's like six years old. Približno šest let star. Looks at my body. 
pogledajo na moje telo, looks at my head, mojo glavo, looks at my body, moje telo, looks at my head, mojo glavo, and he says, well, at least you got a head. In ne reku, no ja, saj glavo imaš. Oh, so good. I was sitting on the ground one day. And I'm seeing this, you know, girl and boy and their mother, I assume, walking towards me. And I was thinking, wow, this one little girl, this girl, she was just smiling. And she's walking by me with the largest smile I've ever seen on the kid. She's like, like this, I'm like, what is she smiling at? And I'm looking. Like she's looking at me. Oh, se gleda me. She's smiling. I don't. Why is she smiling? She walks by me. In gremi momene. And I see to look back to see if she's still smiling. In pogledam nazaj da bi vidio če se še vedno smehlja. She stops. In se zostavila. Points her finger at me. Usmerila svoj prst vame. And says, aha, you're just tricking us. In je reka, ha, ha, samo na finto nas hočeš vršt. I laughed so hard, it was so beautiful. Tako sem se smejal, bilo je čudovito. I freaked out a kid one day. In nekega dne sem prestrašil nekega otroka. I was not so old myself, I was maybe 10, 11 years old. Takrat sem bil, približno sem imel 10, 11 let. This boy comes up. Ta deček je prišel k meni. In all the kids I ask, what happened, what happened, what happened? In vsi otroci vedno sprašujejo, kaj se ti je zgodilo? I say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. In zmeri sem govoril, ja, ne vem, ne vem, ne vem. Ne vem, ne vem, ne vem. And I got tired of saying ne vem. In že naveličal sem se kar naprej govoriti ne vem. So one day, one day this guy came up and he said, what happened? In nekega dne ta deček prišel in rekel, ja, pa kaj se ti je zgodilo? And I said, cigarettes. In se rekel, cigarete. That kid's never going to smoke in his life. Ta otrok nikoli ve, nikoli ne bo kadil v svojem življenju. I was on a plane one day. In nekega dne sem bil na letalu. And you know the overhead compartment of the plane. In veste tisti prostor, kamor se spravlja pretlaga. Staviš, staviš torbe. Daš pretlago nad sedežem. Gore, je. I got my friends to put me up there. In prepričal sem prijatelje, da me dajo tja gor. This guy came up. In prišel je neki tip. To put his bag up. Da bi odložil svojo pretlago. And I go, boo! In sem mu naredil, boo! You see, I can cause a little trouble. Ker jaz lahko povzročam težave. Because no one has my fingerprints. Zaradi tega, ker nišče nima mojih prstnih odtisov. And no one's gonna handcuff me. In nišče me ne bo ukoval v lisice. Funniest story, last one. In ta zadnja najbolj smešna zgodba. I always share these because they're funny. Vedno jih rad podelim zaradi tega, ker so res smešne. I still think they're funny. Saj jaz mislim, da so smešne. So one day I'm in the car. Nekega dne sem bil v avtu. I'm in the front seat. Na sprednjem sedežu. I'm waiting for a green light. In smo čekali na zeleno luč. And this car comes up next to us. In pripelje v zraven je pripelje v avto. And this girl's looking at me. In neka deklica iz avta gleda vame. Now when people see me, sorry, when people see me from the outside of the car, in ko moje ljudje vidijo zunanje strani avta, all they see is my head. Vse, kar vidijo, je moja glava. They don't see the rest of my body. Ne vidijo preostalega dela telesa. So this girl's looking at me. Torej, to dekle gleda vame. So I look at her. Jaz pogledam njo. She's looking at me. Ona gleda vame. I'm looking at her. Jaz gledam njo. So I'm thinking, Cool. I'm going to trick her. So I get the seatbelt in my mouth and I loosen it. So then I can move my body. Now she looks at me like, huh? And I'm eating my seatbelt, right? I'm thinking, just wait. So now she's looking at me. Imagine all you see is my head. 
I just did this. In sam storil takole. Her face. Njen obraz. Klasno. How do you say funny? Smešno. Smešno. Jako smešno bilo. Anyway. I, uh, I love my life. Rad imam svoje življenje. I golf, I fish, I swim. Jaz igram golf, lovim ribe, plavam. I surf. Surfam. I'm a speaker. Sem govornik. I'm an author. Sem avtor. Uh, my book's coming out in Slovenia actually in July. Moja knjiga prihaja v Slovenijo, Julija bo so išla. So I hope you enjoy it when it comes. Torej upam, da boste v nej uživili, um, uživali. But I'm pobog. so glad išla. that I'm here today. Ampak zares sem vesel, da sem danes tu. Alive. Živ that I'm actually smiling today da se lahko danes tu smehljam and that I found my purpose in da sem ugotovil namen svojega življenja and you might think that my purpose is just in speaking but it's not in mogoče si mislite da je moj namen samo v tem da govorim ampak to ni res but I didn't even feel like there was anything to dream of doing as a child I just wanted to survive v časih ko sem bil še otrok si nisem niti mislil da lahko čem sanjam poskušal sem zgolj samo preživeti I thought, what kind of job am I going to get? Razmišljal sem, pa kakšno službo bom dobil? My mom and dad was always, you know, Nick, be thankful, be thankful. Moja mama in oče sta mi vedno govorila, Nick, bodi hvaležen, bodi hvaležen. And I was never so thankful for my body than when I actually hurt my foot one day. In nikoli nisem bil hvaležen za svoje telo, dokler si nisem nekega dne poškodoval svoje noge. I was playing soccer. Igral sem nogomet. I love football. Zelo rad imam nogomet. When you put a full size soccer ball next to me, in če daš žogo, nogometno žogo poleg mene, it's halfway my height. Je že polovico, sega do polovice mojega telesa. If it hits me, in če me ta žoga zadane, it'll like kill me, right? Me bo ubila. And one day, my friend's on the field. In nekega dne je bil moj prijatelj na igrišču, and he says, are you ready? My palms are sweaty. Dleni so se mi potile. And he gets ready. In on se pripravljal. And he goes like this. In je šel tako le nazaj. Boom. This ball's coming right for me. In ta žoga prihaja direktno proti meni. Have you ever had that feeling? A ste kdaj imeli tak občutek? That no matter where you go, it's going to get you. Da ne glede na to, kam se boste premaknili, vas bo zadelo. So I decided Torej, odločil sem se to hit it before it hits me. Da jo bom jaz zadel predno žoga za dane mene. And so I'm thinking maybe I can headbutt it. In se mislil, mogoče lahko dan glavco. But it's a bit too low to headbutt. Ampak je mogoče prenizka žoga. Maybe I can kick it. Mogoče bi jo lahko brcnil. It's a bit too high to kick. Ampak je previsoko, da bi jo brcnil. Have you seen the Matrix? Ali kdo videl film Matrix? I went in slow motion. I jumped up in the air. And while I was in the air, I did a karate kid kick. And I went, Whoo! And I went, Whoo! And the ball came. In joga je priletela. Bent my foot backwards. In zvila moja noga nazaj. And I heard a In zaslišal sem krš. I sprained my foot. In zvil sem si nogo. I love my little foot. Zelo rad imam svoje nogico. I got two toes. Imam dva prsta. Peace. Peace, mir. But I, 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 I use my foot for everything. To nogo uporabljam za vse. Walk. Za hojo. Type. Da tipkam. Move. Se premikam. I couldn't move for three weeks. Tri tedne se nisem mogel premakniti. I felt disabled for the very first time. In prvič v življenju sem se počutil omejenega. He got that one. To ste dojeli. But... 
I really realize that I have a choice. Ampak takrat sem se zavedel, da imam na razpolago izbiro. Either to be angry for what I do not have. Lahko sem jezen za to, česar nimam. Or be thankful for what I do have. Ali pa sem hvaležen za to, kar imam. And every day we have a choice. In vsak dan so pred nami odločitve. But before we go on, we have a little special treat. Ampak predno gremo naprej, imam nekaj posebnega za vas. I hear someone has a soccer ball. Slišal sem, da ima nekdo nagometno žogo. I want you to come up here, man. I want you to come up here. You guys know who this is. Come up. Tavares! Give me a hug, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have a photo. Look at the cameras. Cool. All right. So, you want to play a little bit? So, you want to play a little bit? I, um, I'm not, oh, what do you got here? What jersey have you got? Oh, for me, so cool. Oh, thank you. You'll have to sign that for me. All right, put it on me like this. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. So look, I've got a microphone on, mm -hmm. but we'll do my best here. I'm going to kick it to you, but move back. How's back? How can you back? Nazai, Nazai. Nazai, 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 Nazai. Nazai, Nazai. Shalim, Shalim. No, 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 just joking. Bleezy, bleezy, bleezy. Right there. Okay, good. Now I'm going to kick it to you. And you do what you... Brian? Who's here? Uh -huh. Let me go on the floor. I'm going to go on the floor instead. Just one second. Uh -huh. All right. Oh. Come up here. First, this is Brian. This is Brian. And that's Barbara. Okay, real quick. But let's do headbutts and then I'll come on the floor. Okay, uh -huh. so let's do headbutts now mm -hmm. and then I'll come on the floor. To, oh, no, we'll do floor first. Yeah, why are you here? Why not? We're going to kick it to each other. Ready? Okay, just down on the floor. Can you see me? Okay, right here. Ready? I'm left. We're left footed, man. All right, let's go. Let's go. Nice. Ready? Oh! <laughs> yeah. Headbutt. Uh-huh. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> One more. It's okay. One more time. Back, back. Shane, Krat. No, no, but... Yeah, good. Thank you. Cool, man. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, great, great, great. Matias, be built the representanzo. Yeah. I was at this t-shirt. I have one down with this facility. Tell them, tell them. Why do you tell them? About your faith in Jesus, go for it. You just told me about that. Go. What does Jesus mean to you? Yeah, when I, uh, I also Christian, I, I have. Uh, uh, Slovensky is good. Slovensky? Yeah, just so. Dobro they... večer. It's your star, man. English, English, English. Thank you. No, I, when I celebrate the goal, when I score, I have uh, under this T-shirt, one T-shirt uh, who uh, what writes Jesus is the way. 
kadar dam gol in imam pod svojo majico vedno tudi drugo majico, kjer piše Jezus je pot. <laughs> Takrat praznuje, pravi. Uh -huh. Oh, we have the national coach here tonight. Yeah, yeah, mamo trenerja tukaj. Matjaš Kek. Hey, love you. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Give me a big hug. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, coach. Trener. If uh, if you need me to give your goalkeeper some lessons, let me know. Če me rabite in če potrebujete neke lekcije, smi kar povejte. Joking. Samo uh, hejca se. Anyway, did you did you see the YouTube video of me in the goal? Ali ste videli YouTube posneta, kjer sem jaz pred golom? Yeah, it's pretty funny. All right, anyway. Cool, thank you so much. Hvala vam. Anyway, yeah, thank you for coming. Hvala, da ste prišla. 15th in the world, very, very good team. 15th in the world, that's a good team. I actually want to come to the World Cup, so I hope you guys make it. I hope that we will be able to come to the World Cup, and I hope that we will be able to come to the World Cup. Okay, anyway. What? Oh, I meant it in a good way. Anyway, when I was a kid, I could play soccer, but not as well as everybody else. I could swim, but not like everybody else. I had questions. My brother and my sister born after me with arms and legs. My dad actually is a pastor. Moj oče je pravzaprav pastor. And he talks about God. In je vedno govoril o Bogu. And how much God loves us. In kako nas Bog ljubi. And I understand. In jaz nisem tega razumel. How can my dad say that God loves us all when his own son was given less than everybody else? Kako lahko moj oče govori, da nas ima Bog vse rad, ko je pa njegovemu sinu dal manj kot kateremu koli drugemu? You would hear the preaching. A ne, slišal bi pridiganje. That I'm a sinner. Da sem grešnik. And I, you know, need forgiveness of sins. Da potrebujem odpuščanje grehov. And that we need to live our life for God. In da moramo živeti za Boga. That we can never get to heaven on our own good works. Da nikoli ne moramo samo z dobrimi deli priti v nebesa. That only Jesus could conquer the grave. Da samo Jezus je lahko premagal grob. And that only Jesus faced the devil face to face and won. In da edino Jezus je srečal s hodičem z obliče v obliče in da ga je premagal. Jesus loves me. Da me Jezus ljubi. But I didn't understand it. Ampak jaz tega nisem razumel. I wanted to believe that there was a greater purpose. Želel sem si verjeti, da obstaja večji namen. But no one had any answers. Ampak nišče ni imel odgovorov. Mom and dad, why do I have no arms and legs? Mom in oči, zakaj ni imam rok in nog? They say, no one knows. In rekla sta, nišče ne ve. Only God knows. Samo Bog ve. Doctors didn't know. Zdravniki niso vedeli. So I asked God. Torej sem vprašal Boga. If you're up there, če si ti res tam, please tell me why. Potem mi prosim povej zakaj. Nothing happened. In nič se ni zgodilo. A year passed. Minilo je eno leto. Started getting angry. In postajal sem se bolj jezen. People were teasing me. Ljudje so me zafrkavali. Putting me down. Podcenjevali. I started thinking about my life. I mean, am I going to have a normal life? In začel sem razmišljati o svojem življenju, ali bom sploh kdaj sposoben živeti normalno življenje. Am I going to get married? Ali se bom kdaj lahko poročil? Am I going to, you know, have happiness? Ali bom sploh lahko kdaj srečen? Or am I just going to be a burden to my parents for the rest of my life? Ali pa bom do konca življenja zgolj samo breme svojim staršem? And get teased. In me bojo kar naprej zafrkavali. And feel alone. In se bom počutil samljenega. I wanted purpose. Želel sem imeti namen. You can have arms and legs, but not know what to do with them. Lahko imaš roke in noge, pa spoh ne veš, kaj bi z njimi počel. You can have arms and legs, but have a broken heart. Lahko imaš roke in noge, a zlomljeno srce. You can have arms and legs, but still be disabled by fear. Lahko imaš roke in noge, pa si še vedno omejen strahom. You can hold your wife's hand, but maybe not her heart. Lahko drži ženino roko, ampak mogoče spoh ne njenega srca. What's this life all about? 
Zakaj se sploh gre v tem življenju? I thought if only I had arms and legs, everything would be happy, it would be fine. Mislil sem si, če bi le imel roke in noge, potem bi bilo vse dobro. But then I saw many people with arms and legs. Ampak potem sem videl mnogo ljudi z rokami in nogami. And they weren't happy either. In tudi oni niso bili srečni. And I'm not here to compare sufferings. In nisem tukaj da bi primeril trpljenje. I actually believe it's worse being in a broken home than having no arms or legs. Jaz verjamem da je huje odraščati v razbiti družini kakor biti brez rok in nog. Losing a loved one is worse. Izgubiti ljubljeno osebo je huje. You would give up your arm to have a loved one back in your life. Raje bi si dal odrezati roko da samo da bi dobil ljubljeno osebo nazaj ali ne. Or having arms and legs. Ali pa imeti roke in noge. And then losing the ability to use them. In potem izgubiti sposobnost da jih uporabljaš. Pain is pain. Bolečina je bolečina. What does the world say hope is? Kaj pa svet pravi, da je upanje? Some people say, well, all you need, Nick, is a positive attitude. Nekateri pravi, ja, Nick, vse, kar potrebuješ, je pozitivna drža. I couldn't do that. Tega nisem mogel storiti. You know, I had parents who loved me so much. Jaz sem imel starše, ki so me tako globoko ljubili. And they do anything for me. In bi vse storili za me. But they couldn't heal my heart. Ampak niso mogli vzdraviti mojega srca. The world says what happiness. Svet pravi, kaj je sreča. That the happiness that we can have in this world is money. Da je sreča, ki jo lahko imamo v tem svetu, je če imamo denar. Drugs. Droge. Sex. Seks, alkohol, alkohol, pornografi, pornografija, fame, slava, fortune. bogatstvo. And you always think to yourself, oh, if only I was like that person. In si vedno misliš, jo, če bi bil lahko samo tak, kot je ta oseba. All that stuff is temporary. Vse te stvari so zgolj začasne. It'll never fulfill your life. Nikoli ne bodo izpolnile tvojega življenja. Maybe you didn't go that route. Mogoče pa nisi šel po taki poti. And you're a good person. Mogoče si dobra vseba. And you have a good life. In imaš dobro življenje. But what happens when we're not here? Kaj pa se zgodi, ko nas tu več ne bo? Is it good enough just to know what's good and bad? A je dovolj, edina stvar, ki je dovolj dobra, da se zavedaš, kaj je dobro in slabo? Do we all go to heaven? Ali bomo vsi šli v nebesa? Eternity is huge compared to 90 years. Večnost je neka ogromna zadeva v primerjavi za 90 leti na zemlji. I was searching. Jaz sem iskal. If we all go there, then what about all the bad people in the world? Ja, če vsi gremo tja, kaj pa vsi slabi ljudje na svetu? Then how bad is bad? Kako slabo, v kakoljikšni meri je slabo slabo? It's too much. To je preveč. It's too big. Preveliko vprašanje. And I meet philosophers. In potem sem se srečal s filozofi. And they say, well, I don't believe in God. In so rekel, a jaz ne verjamem v Boga. I said, really? Se nekaj res. He said, yeah, I believe in all sorts of things. In rekel, ja, jaz verjamem se sorte stvari. But I do ask God for things sometimes. Ampak včasih prosim Boga za kakšne stvari. And sometimes I thank God. In včasih se zahvalim Bogu. I'm like, really? Pravim, res? Why? Zakaj? If you don't believe in him. Če ne verjameš van. Well, you know. Ja, no, no, veš. But if you do pray to God. Ampak če pa že moliš Bogu. And you ask him for things. In če prosiš za stvari. And then you thank him. In potem se mu zahvališ. It means that he's bigger than us. To pomeni, da on večji od nas. I asked the guy. Vprašal sem nekoga. I said, apart from asking God for things. Se nekaj, poleg tega, da prosiš Boga za določene stvari. And thanking God for things. In se zahvališ Bogu za stvari. Have you ever asked him what he wants to do in your life? Ali si ga sploh daj koli vprašal, kaj želi storiti v tvojem življenju? He said, no. Ne. For me, I felt so far away from anything. A ne, jaz osebno sem se počutil zelo daleč proč od vsega. But God's not far away. Ampak Bog nikoli ni daleč. Even if I feel he is. Tudi, če se meni zdi, da je. You see my book? Vidite tukaj le mojo knjigo? It's my Bible. To je sicer moje sveto pismo. And the lies came to me. In laži so prihajale. Nick, you're not good enough. Nick, ti nisi dovolj dober. You're alone. Ti si sam. Just give up. Odnehaj. Just give up. Obupaj. Just give up. Odnehaj. At age eight, I told my mum that I wanted to commit suicide. Pri osmih letih sem povedal mami, da želim storiti samomor. At age ten, I tried to commit suicide. Pri desetih letih sem poizkusil samomor. I went into a bathtub. Šel sem v kopalnico v banjo. And I turned over three times. In sem se trikrat zavrtel v banji. In the first two times I rolled over, I was trying to work out how much air I hold in my lungs. In prve dvakrat, ko sem se zavrtel, sem v bistvu predtem razmišljal, koliko zraka moram zadržati v plučih, da se lahko tupim. 
The third time I rolled over. In tretičko sem se zavrtel. One thought saved me. Me je rešila ena misel. I pictured my mum and my dad and my younger brother at the time uh, crying at my grave. Predstavljam se predstavljal sem si mamo in učeta in mlajšega brata kako jokajo ob mojem grobu. And I didn't want to leave them with pain. In nisem jih želel zapustiti z bolečino. One of the reasons why I wanted to give up is I didn't want to be a pain to them. En izmed razlogov zakaj uh, sem želel odnehati ker nisem želel imeti jim pustiti bolečine. And what's worse than having a son without arms and legs? In kar je huje kot imeti sina brez rok in nog is a son without arms and legs who commits suicide. Je imeti sina brez rok in nog je storil samomor. What suicide? Kaj pa je samomor? To cry for love. To je klic po ljubezni. We want to be loved. Vsi si želimo biti ljubljeni. It's a very simple thing. To je zelo preprosta stvar. We want hope. Vsi si želimo imeti upanje. Where is hope? Kje pa je upanje? If there is hope, če je upanje, it better work for me. Za me je delovalo. It better work for you. Potem lahko deluje tudi za te. And the orphans in Africa. Za sirote v Afriki. And the sex slaves that I've met in India. In za spolne sužnje, katere sem srečal v Indiji. Kidnapped at 10 years old. Ki so bile ograbljene pri desetih letih. Bought for $700. Ki so bile kupljene za 700 dolarjev. Sold by their parents. Ki so jih lastni starši prodali. What's hope? Kaj je upanje? What happens when you come to an impossibility? Kaj se zgodi, ko prideš do nemogoče situacije? You may have seen this on YouTube. Mogoče ste to že videli na YouTube. But for those of you who haven't seen this, ampak za tiste, ki niste videli, I'm laying down. Ko padeš dol. Don't have a heart attack. Ne, 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 ne vas ne šokira sedaj. I won't break my arm. Ne bom si zlomil roke. <laughs> Zdravo. So what do you do when you fall down? Torej, kaj storiš, kadar padeš? You get back up. Se pobereš. You see, when I was on the edge, Veste, ko sem bil na robu, I was facing that way. Sem gledal v tisto smer. I was looking this way. Nisem gledal na drugo smer. My Bible didn't move. Moje sveto pismo se ni premaknilo. God's the same. Bog je vedno isti. Whether you see him or not. Če ga vidiš ali ne. Faith is believing. Ve, uh, vera je da nekaj verjameš. For me, I felt like giving up. Jaz sem se počutil da bi kar odnehal. But man, am I glad I still stayed. Ampak sem izredno vesel, da sem ostal. If I fail a hundred times, če bi, sto, če bi mi stokrat spodletelo, and I can't get back up, in če se takrat ne poberem, what do I do? Kaj ne storim? Keep on trying. Še naprej poizkušam. There is hope for as long as I keep on trying. Vedno je upanje, dokler še naprej poizkušam. Don't give up. Nikoli ne odnehajte. Because you don't know what beauty can come out of your broken pieces. Ker nikoli ne veste, kakšna lepota lahko izide iz vaših zlomljenih koštkov življenja. You don't know what's around the corner. Nikoli ne veš, kaj te čaka za vogalom. Until you go around the corner. Dokler ne prideš okoli vogala. I didn't know that I'd be able to type 43 words a minute on a normal computer with my foot. Jaz nisem vedel, da bom lahko odtipkal 43 besed v minuti na svoj računalnik. Become president of my primary school. In postal sem predsednik v osnovni šoli. Vice president of my high school. In namestnik v srednji šoli. Start speaking at 19. In začel sem govoriti pri 19 letih. Go around 38 countries. Potoval po 38 deželah. Seven presidents. Se srečal sedmimi predsedniki. Five congresses. Govoril petih parlamentih. Four million people face to face. Štiri milijoni ljudi sem govoril z obličje v obličje. But you know what's beautiful? Ampak veste, kaj je čudovito? I met a little boy just like me. Najbolj čudovito je bilo, ko sem se srečal z malim dečkom, ki je bil ravno tako, kot sem jaz. No arms, no legs. Brez rok in brez nog. And his mother hugged me. In njegova mati me je objela. And cried. In jo kala. And says, Nick. In je rekla, Nick. You're a miracle. Ti si čudeš. I've been praying and praying for God to send me a sign that he hasn't forgotten me or my son. Molila sem in molila, da bi mi Bog dal nek znak, da ni pozabil namen na mojega sina. Nick, why are you happy? Nick, zakaj si srečen? I'll tell you why. 
povedal vam bom zakaj. 90 years is nothing. 90 let ni nič. God didn't punish me this way. Bog me ni kaznoval, da sem tak. But what the enemy tried to use for bad, God can turn into good. To, ker je sovražnik poskušal uporabiti za hudo, je Bog obrnil na dobro. And if I have a bad life here, in če bi jaz imel tukaj slabo življenje, no arms, no legs, brez rok in brez nog, it's all worth it. Je bilo vse vredno. If just Daniel comes to heaven as well, because now he believes. Če bi bil tudi im ta mali deček Daniel spodbojen in prišel v nebesa samo zaradi tega, ker ima sedaj vero. If I was born without arms and legs. Če sem se rodil brez rok in nog. Just so one person here tonight. Samo zato, da bi ena oseba tukaj. Doesn't give up. Da ena oseba tukaj ne bi odnehala. It's all worth it da ne bi obupala, potem je bilo vse skupaj vredno. Zato kar naprej poskušajte. Oh, Nick. Some people say, oh, Nick, you must be so proud of yourself. In nekateri ljudje reče, oh, Nick, tako moreš biti ponosen na se. I'm not. Ne, nisem. Ja kažem, hvala Bogu. Because everything that I have ker vse, kar imam, is from him. Je od njega. And he's given me hope. In on je ta, ki mi je dal upanje. You know that I still have ups and downs. Seveda imam še vedno spone in pace. You know there are still days where I'm sad. Se veste, še vedno so dnevi, kadar sem žalosten. Ampak se vklepam Boga. In Bog se bo tudi vklenil vas. Ničesar drugega ni bilo, česar bi se lahko vklenil. Vsi bomo enkrat umrli. In ja, seveda, vsi smo grešili. In Bog ne pričakuje, da smo popolni. Jaz sem še vedno v obdelavi, vsak dan. One day at a time. Vsak dan za dnem. Lord, teach me what you want me to do. In pravim Bog, uči me, kaj želiš, da delam. Teach me to pray. Uči me moliti. Teach me to thank you. Uči me biti hvaležen. Teach me to trust you. Uči me, da ti lahko zaupam. Now I have peace. Sedaj imam mir. Joy. Radost. I am rich. Sem bogat. Not because of my bank account. Ne zaradi mojega bančnega računa. I am so rich. Ampak sem tako zelo bogat. Why? Zakaj? Because of the truth. Zaradi resnice. The truth has set me free. Ta resnica me je osvobodila. Let me tell you something about the truth. Ne vam še povem nekaj o resnici. Trobar. Trubar. Trubar. You heard of this guy? A ste slišali že za tega človeka? Yeah? Sometimes when I go to countries, I like to do a bit of research. Včasih, ko grem v določene dežele, rad malce prej raziščem stvari. But I found out about Trubar. In našel sem Trubarja. Has anyone heard that the latest translation actually was done a year ago? Ali ste slišali, da je skoraj pred enim letom bil katekizem in abecednik preveden v sodobno slovenščino? Did you hear about this book? Ali ste že kdaj slišali za to knjigo? Ali ste slišali? Ja, jih hrvim o njim. Je nekaj get a chance to read what he said yet? Ali je kdo imel že priložnost prebrati, kaj Trubar pravi? Če je kdo prebral knjigo, lahko zdigne roko. Ok. I can see maybe three, five hands. Cool. Super. I asked in the other two cities. V prejšnjih dveh mestih v Ptuju in v Kopru sem vprašal. It was about the same proportion. To isto vprašanje in je bilo približno isti proporcij. You know, I think to myself, in sem si mislil, this man, ta človek, is famous ki je zelo znan tukaj. This man is known for writing this book. Ta človek je znan po tem, da je napisal prvi slovenski knjigi. The first thing that he could ever tell Slovenians. In 
prva stvar, ki jo je sploh povedal slovencem v slovenskem jeziku napisal? Let's put this into perspective. No, dajmo to v, v pravo perspektivo. Let's say that I have a wife. Recimo, da imam ženo. And she's pregnant with our daughter. In sedaj nosi najno hči in oseča. And I have cancer. In jaz imam raka. And I will die before she is born. In se zavedam, da bom umrl, še predno bo moja hčerka rojena. What letter would I write to her? Kakšno pismo bi napisal? What would I say to a camera for her to see? Kaj bi ji rekel v kamero, da bi lahko kasneje gledala? Would it not be the most important thing? Ali ne bi povedal kakšne najpomembnejše stvari? Yeah, it would. Yeah. What did he say? Kaj pa je ona rekel? I'm going to read it in English. Oh. <laughs> oh, you don't have the translation? Okay, you go for it. Go in Slovene. Yeah. You want to read? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it. Okay. V Slovenščini piše. This is the first sentence. To so prve zapisane besede v slovenskem jeziku. You want to hear it? Želite slišati? Are you sure? Ste prepričani. All right, here it is. No, tukaj je. Za vse Slovence prosim milosti, miru, usmiljenja in pravega spoznanja Boga po Jezusu Kristusu. And some people can say, well, most people who were the founding fathers of a nation talked about faith. In nekateri ljudje rečejo, ja, vsi ustanovni včetje posameznih narodov so vedno govorili o veri. What if they're right? Kaj pa, če so imeli prav? Here's a question. Tukaj je vprašanje. How many feet do I have? Koliko nog imam? Koliko? Koliko možeš da vidiš? Jedno. Da? Koliko imam onda? How many do I have? Koliko nog imam potem? What if I told you two? Kaj pa, če bi vam povedal, da imam dve nogi? Would you believe me? Ali bi mi verjeli? Nik Vujčič says he has two feet. Nik Vujčič pravi, da ima dve nogi. Now, if you never see my second one, in če nikoli ne bi videli moje druge noge, if I have a second one, če sploh imam drugo nogo, you're going to believe that I have a second foot because I said so. Potem bi mi verjeli, da imam drugo nogo, samo zaradi tega, ker sem vam to povedal. Now you really want to know how many feet I have. Sedaj pa vas zares zanima, koliko nog imam. Now you're really curious. Sedaj ste zares radovedni. It's really interesting. Zares zanimivo je. Curiosity. Ta radovednost. If I give you an envelope. Če bi vam dal koverto. And I say, this is for you. In bi rekel, to je za te. It's from me to you. Od mene za tebe. But there's nothing in it. Ampak notri ni ničesar. You're going to take it. Potem bi vse eno vzeli. And guess what you're going to do. In kaj bi storili? You're going to open it. Tako bi odprli. I actually have two feet. Pravzaprav imam dve nogi. You want to see it? Jo želite videti? Yeah, look. Poglej. Zdravo! Now it was always there. Vedno je bila tam. You didn't see it? Niste je videli? You didn't know about it? Niste vedeli za njo? Until someone told you about it. Dokler vam ni nekdo o njej povedal. Are you now satisfied? Like, are you happy? Ali ste zdaj zadovoljni? Ste srečni zaradi tega? Did it change your life? Ali je to spremenilo vaše življenje? Are you going to wake up in the morning? Ali se boste zbudili zjutraj? It's, oh my goodness! In nekaj, oj, oj. Nick has two feet! Nick ima dve nogi. Big deal! Pa kaj pol? Pa kaj pol? Big deal!
But if I say there's hope, če pa vam povem, da obstaja upanje, and there's God, in da obstaja Bog, it's up to you. Je odvisno od vas. When you lose the keys to your car, če verjamete, ko izgubite ključe od avta, when do you give up for the search? Kdaj boste prenehali z iskanjem? You search for it with all your heart iščete takrat z vsem svojim srcem and all your family in z vso družino and your dog in z psom <laughs> we're not talking about keys to a car in ne govorim samo o ključih avtomobila we're talking about purpose ampak govorimo o namenu love o ljubezni hope upanju don't give up the search nikoli ne prenehajte z iskanjem don't give up. Ne odnehajte. Can we have some piano in the background? Please. I'd, I'd play piano, but I'm not warmed up yet. Tudi sam igram na klavir, samo nisem še ogret. Give me a hug, give me a hug, give me a hug. Pred urban pa dej en objem. Give me a big hug. <laughs> Ljubim. Love you. Thank you, man. You know, I used to be worried so much about my life. Časih sem bil tako zaskrbljen zaradi svojega življenja. Am I going to get married? Ali se bom poročil? Am I married? Ali sem poročen? No. Ne. Am I worried? Ali sem zaskrbljen? No. Ne. I used to be worried about how I'm going to uh, hold my kids when they're crying. Časih me je skrbelo, kako bom držal na roči otroke, ko bojo jukali. And one night I was at a family gathering. In nekega večera sem bil na družinskem srečanju. And this two and a half year old girl. In ta dve letna deklica in pol. So cute. Tako srčkana. My height. Moje višine. We were looking at each other. In sva gledala drug v drugega. She goes and hugs everybody. Šla je in ko se se ko se poslavljala je vsako ga objemala. Dovidenja, dovidenja, bye. Then she comes to me. In prišla je do mene. And she wants to hug me. In želela objeti tudi mene. She's looking at me. In je gledala vame. She's thinking how am I going to hug Nikki who has no hands. In je razmišljala, le kako bom objela Nika ko pa nima rok. She thought about it. Razmišljala je. She put her hands behind her back. Po tem pa je sklenila roke za hrbtom. And she walked up to me. In prišla do mene and hug me with her neck. In me objela z vratom. Why am I a speaker? Zakaj sem sploh govornik? Because at 19 I spoke in front of 300 teenagers. Ker pri 19 letih sem govoril pred 300 teminajstniki. I had no idea what to say. In pojma nisem imel kaj na jim povem. My knees were shaking. Kolena so se mi tresla. Within 3 minutes half the girls were crying. In v 3 minutah je polovico deklet tam jukalo. And this one girl in the middle of the room started weeping. In neko dekle sredi sobe je začelo jokati. And she put up her hand. In zdignila je roko. She said, I'm so sorry. In je reka, tako žal mi je. Can I come up there and give you a hug? Prosti, ali lahko pridem naprej in te objamem? In front of everyone she came and she hugged me. In pred vsemi dijaki je prišla naprej in me objela. And she whispered in my ear. In zašepetala je v mojo oko. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hvala ti, hvala ti, hvala ti. No one's ever told me that I'm beautiful the way that I am. Nikoli mi še nihče ni povedal, da sem čudovita taka, kakršna sem. No one's ever told me that they love me. Nikoli mi še nihče ni povedal, da me ima rad. I was shocked. In bil sem šokiran. Because I know that I was told I was loved. Zaradi tega, ker jaz vem, meni so vedno dejali, da me imajo radi. I thought the world needs to hear it. In sem si mislil, pa svet mora to slišati. I go home. 
Show some the mom. I say, mom and dad. I say, Rico, mom and auntie. I know what I want to be for the rest of my life. Zdaj pa vem, kaj hočem biti do konca svojega življenja. My dad says, Moj auntie je rekel, Završi školo, prvo. in the kitchen in my mama je bila v kuhini and she's doing the dishes in je pomivala posodo she's looking down at me in gledala dol na me i'm looking up at her in es gledam gor na njo she says so je reka no you know what you want to be ha huh? veš kaj hočeš biti ha huh? i said yeah es reko ja what kaj i want to be a speaker želim si biti govornik she says so she's doing in prenehala je s pomivanjem posode. She crosses her arms. Prekrižala roke. She says. In je rekla. A speaker. Govornik. I said, yeah. Se rekel, ja. What you gonna speak about? O čem pa boš govoril? Ne vem. <laughs> Who's gonna want to hear? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> ne vem. Who's going to want to hear you speak? Kdo pa te bo sploh želel poslušati? Ne vem. Are they going to pay you? Ali ti bodo plačali? Ne vem. Are you going to go alone? Ali boš šel sam? Ne. Is someone going to go with you? Ali bo kdo šel s teboj? Who's going to go with you? Kdo bo šel s teboj? Ne vem. But I knew that I knew that I knew. Ampak vedel sem, da vem in da vem in da vem. That God had a plan. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11. God's got a hope, plan and a future. Piše da ima Bog načrt in upanje za prihodnost. See, you won't know that unless you know it. Tega ne bi vedeli, če vam ne bi povedal. One day I nearly cried so long. Nekega dne sem tako dolgo jokal. I went to Liberia. Šel sem v Liberijo. And I met the president. In tam sem se srečal s predsednikom. Then I went to a soccer field. In potem sem šel na nogometno igrišče. We were expecting 300 people. Pričakovali so 300 ljudi. And 10,000 people came to hear me speak. In deset tisoč ljudi je prišlo, da bi me poslušalo. One woman carried her child through the crown up on stage. In neka žena je čez vso množico prinesla svojega otroka na oder. The child had no arms. In ta otrok ni imel rok. Three weeks old. Tri tedne star. And when he was on the stage, in ko bil ta otrok na odru, everybody's like, oh, so what? Si še, oh, kaj? And I didn't know what was going on. In tudi jaz nisem vedel, kaj se dogaja. I kissed the child on the forehead. Poljubil sem otroka na čelo. Prayed for the child. Molil za otroka. And then I really found out what was going on. In šele takrat sem ugotovil, kaj se dogaja. After it was all done, everybody said, Nick, we can't believe it. Potem, ko je bilo vsega konec, so vsi dejali, Nick, ne moremo verjeti. I said, why? Se nekaj, kaj? He said, Nick, the tribal culture around developing countries believe that people with disabilities are a curse. Nik, ta plemena v tistem kraju verjamajo, da tisti, ki so invalidni, da so prekleti. And I can tell you that's believed in many countries. In povem vam, da tako verjamajo v mnogih deželah. Where people haven't told them that it's not the case. A ne, če so jim ljudje povedali ali ne. They kill the children. Tam ubijajo take otroke. Don't be angry at those people. They don't know anything better, right? Until someone says the truth, you don't know the truth. Ne bi tjezni na take ljudi, ker ne poznajo resnice, ne poznajo nič drugega, dokler nekdo ne pride in jim ne pove resnice. Do you know the truth? Ali vi poznate resnico? You girls! Ve dekleta. Do you know the truth? Ali poznate resnico? You're beautiful just the way that you are. Da ste čudovite ravno take, kakršne ste. Doesn't matter how you look. Ni pomembno, kako izgledate, nazunaj. Doesn't matter how smart you are. 
Ni pomembno kako pametni ste. God says you're wonderfully and fearfully made. Bog pravi da si čudovito ustvarjena. Every three-year-old girl wants to be a princess. Saka triletna deklica si želi biti princesa. Why? Zakaj? I want to be a princess. Ja želim biti princesa. They don't even know what a princess is. Spoh niti ne vedo kaj pomeni biti princesa. It's got something to do with pink clothes. Ker to ima nekaj upravka z roza oblekcami. That's about it. To je to. I'll tell you what the truth is. Ampak jaz vam povem resnico. God is the creator of everything and everyone. And he gave us free choice. But when we come to him, we become his sons and daughters. He's the king of kings. Daughter to a king is a princess. Us boys, we're men. We like to fight and destroy. You boys, you hear your parents fighting, trying to work out who's right and who's wrong. And there is a fight. But it's not against who's right and who's wrong. The fight is on your knees and pray for them. Demons and angels fighting for our soul. Nick, this is too hard for you. No, the truth says. God's with me. He's with me. He's real. He's not just something up there. He'll heal my heart. Lord, give me arms and legs. But Lord, if it's not your will, give me the greatest miracle of all. You. The relationship with you. To know you. Give me a purpose. Give me heaven. Give me eternal life. So much better than arms and legs. Is it hard? Yeah. yeah. But Ampak. heaven's coming soon. I can't wait. I'm going to see little Daniel. In tam the boy with no arms and no legs. At two and a half years old. He saw a video of me. He saw me swimming. He said, swim like Nick, swim like Nick. Now he swims. Tonight. Do you have that peace? He is not like the normal earthly father. We feel like we have to do better to make him proud. God loves you just the way that you are. Bog pa te ljubi ravno takega, kakršen si. And tonight you have a choice. In tem večeru imaš tudi sam izbiro. To walk out here the way you came in. Da od tu greš tako kot si prišel. And I can't promise you a better life. In ne morem vam obljubiti boljšega življenja. Everything's going to be easy. But now you're walking with God. Life's so funny, man. Eight years old. I'm doing homework. I'm so stressed. Bil sem v takem stresu. Mami, dad, this is too hard. Mami, noči pa to je tako težko. The stress. The stress. I'm going to die. Umrl bom. You get to 13 years old. In potem imaš 13 let. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, joj. My body is changing. Moje telo se spreminja. My parents are annoying. Starši mi grejo na živce. My friends are changing on me. Moje prijatelji me zafrkavajo. This is too hard. Vse to je preveč težko. What am I going to do? Kaj, ne vem, kaj bom počel. I'm never going to get out of school. Nikoli ne bom končal te šole. Then you get to grade 12. In potem postaneš starejši. In like, ajoj, ovo je stres. 
You got to do your exams. Zdaj so pa izpiti. Now you got to get into get a university. Moram iti na fakulteto. You're like, oh. Then you get to university. In potem prideš na fakulteto. High school was nothing. Ah, sredna šola ni bila se skupaj nič. It was easy. Tist je bilo lahko. Now this is something. To je nekaj. Now I got to find a job. Zdaj pa bom moral najdi službo. If only I get a job, things will be better. In potem, ko bom dobil službo, bo vse boljše. You get a job. In potem dobiš službo. Three weeks later. Tri tedne kasneje. This is boring. To je dolg čas. Maybe life's gonna, you know, some people, maybe life's gonna get better when you get married. In časih si nekateri mislijo, o, življenje bo boljše, ko se poročim. Just ask any married person. Kar vprašajte katero koli poročeno osebo. Well, maybe it gets better when you have kids. Uh-uh. A mogoče bo pa boljše, ko bo vam imel otroke. Bože moj. Here it is. Tukaj je. Life is always an uphill climb. Življenje je vedno pot v spona. And there is an end to that. In je tudi zaključek po ti. Are you going to go alone? Ali boste šli tja sami? Are you going to end it alone? Ali boste končali to pot sami? Because deep down, ker globoko v sebi, God's calling you, vas bo kliče, to let him walk with you, da mu dovolite, da hodi z vami. On judgment day, in na sodni dan, Satan will be my accuser, bo hodič moj obtoževalec. Nekaj se sinna. Nekaj grešnik. He's lie. O, ni legal. I need to lie once before I'm not perfect. Samo enkrat se lahko zlažem in vidim, da nisem popoven. Only perfection is accepted into heaven. Samo popovnost je samo v nebesih. Think of two three-year-olds. Pomislite o dveletnih otrocih. You want to see evil? A želite videti zlo? Just give two three-year-olds one toy. Daj dvema dveletnima otrokoma eno igračo. They'll lie. Lagala bosta. They'll be jealous. Ljubosumna bosta. They'll steal. Kradla si bosta igračo. They'll dishonor their parents. Bosta nespoštljiva do staršev. See, at the very beginning. Že od samega začetka. Adam and Eve. Sta Adam in Eva. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Spoznala drevo dobrega in zla. Or the tree of life. Ali pa drevo življenja. Knowing that we're not perfect is not going to save you. In zavedala sta se, samo zavedanje, da nisi popoln, te ne bo rešilo. But if you believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins. Če pa verjameš, da je Jezus umrl za tvoje grehe. And he was perfect. In da je bil on popoln. That's why he died. Da je zato umrl. That's why he rose himself from the dead to prove he was God. Ane, zato je tudi ustal od mrtvih, da bi dokazal, da je Bog. No one else did that. Nihče drug ni tega storil. No one else was holy. Nihče ni bil svet. Not any prophet said, I am God. Niti en prerok ni rekel, jaz sem Bog. Jesus. Jezus. Was the son of God. Pa je bil Božji sin. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jaz sem pot resnica in življeni. So my hope. Torej moje upanje. Is that you leave here with an open heart. Je, da odidete z odprtim srcem. An open mind z odprtim umom in da se pogovarjate. In želel bi moliti za vas. In v prvi polovici moje molitve bi želel moliti za to mesto in za Slovenijo, če vam je prav. Ok. Ok. Pray for miracles. I have a pair of shoes in my closet just in case he says yes to me. I do. I have seen many miracles. So we'll pray for them too. 
And I want to pray for you. Ampak želim moliti za vas. That you would have faith. Da bi imeli vero. And in the second half of that prayer. In v drugi polovici te molitve. If you want to say God. Če želite sami reči Bog. If you're real. Če si ti resničen. I want to know you. Te želim poznati. Not just someone up there. Ne samo nekoga tam zgore. I'm going to lead you in a prayer which is a first step. In vas bom vodil v molitvi, ki je prvi korak. And then it's a journey. Potem pa je to potovanje. You'll still fail God. Še vedno vam bo spodlatelo in boste razočarali Boga. When you ask him to forgive you of your sins, he forgives you. Ko ga prosiš, da ti odpusti, ti vedno odpusti. God's right here. Ker je Bog tu. And every day, in sak dan, I ask God to forgive me. Sak dan prosim Boga, da mi odpusti. To change me. Da me spremeni. One step at a time. Korak za korakom. Let me pray. Naj molim, dovolite mi. Dear God, we just thank you for your presence here through your Holy Spirit. Dragi Bog, hvaležni smo ti za tvoja prisotnost preko Svetega Duha. Thank you, Lord, for tonight. Hvala ti, Bog, za ta večer. You know exactly where we all are. Ti točno veš, ki je vsakdo izmed nas. Those of us grieving. Tisti, ki žalujajo. Or hurting. Ki so bolečinah. Depressed. Ki so depresivni. Sad ki so žalostni, ki imajo en kup vprašanj. Lord, we thank you that you're here. Gospod, hvaležni smo ti, da si tu. And you're always a prayer away. Vedno si samo eno molitev proč. Lord, Gospod, may you bless Slovenia. Blagoslavi Slovenijo. May Slovenia bless you and your name. May Slovenia blagoslovi tebe in tvoje ime. May you plant many seeds of faith posadi mnogo semen vere all across this nation vse posod v tej deželi that when a nation honors God da bo to narod, ki spoštuje Boga God honors a nation in ker Bog počasti narod Father, heal our teenagers oče, vzdravi naše najstnike who feel so much under pressure ki so pod takimi pritiski who feel like giving up ki se počutijo, da bi kar odnehali anyone here in vsak do tu, če se počuti, da bi kar obupal, v Jezusov ime, bodi vzdravljen, bodi vsvobojen. Hvala ti, Bog, da ti lahko vzdraviš vsako bolezen in vsako svobost. Ne slišimo poročila o tvojem vzdravljenju. Oče, ti poznaš moje vero. Ne izraste. Hvala ti, Bog. That if you do not change our physical body, in če se naša fizična telesa ne spremenijo, change our heart, potem spremeni naša srca and our mind. In naš um. Thank you, God. Hvala ti Bog. For everybody here. Za vsako gar tu. If you want to say this prayer to God, in če želiš izreči to molitev Bogu, to say it in your heart. Potem jo lahko izrečeš v svojem srcu. Say, dear God. In rečeš, dragi Bog. I thank you for loving me. Hvaležen sem ti, da me ljubiš. Even though you know all my failures. Če tudi poznaš vse moje napake. You choose to love me. Si se odločil, da me ljubiš. And your love never changes. In tvoja ljubezen se nikoli ne spreminja. Thank you, God. Hvala ti, Bog. I am so sorry. Tako žal mi je. Of all the things I've done wrong. Za vse stvari, ki sem jih napačno storil. Please forgive me. Prosim, odpusti mi. Jesus. Jezus, hvala, da si umrl na križu za moje grehe. Verjamem, da ti si Božji sin. Ravno tako, kot si vstal od mrtvih, boš obudil tudi mene. Ozdravi me, potolaži me, uči me pravi uči me moliti in izpolni me s Tvojim Svetim Duhom. Želim Te bolje poznati dan za dnem. V Jezusom imenu prosim. Amen. 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 Slava Bogu! Hvala Bogu, slava Bogu!
thank you, God. May you heal this nation. Thank you for this city. Amen. I want to tell you that I love you. Želel bi vam povedati da vas imam resnično so rad. Zelo. And it's not the end of the program. To je konec programa in ni v programu. But today even if you said that prayer. Ampak danes če ste molili z menoj. Nick, I actually said that prayer. Če si rekel, če mi praviš Nick, v bistvu sem zares v srcu molil. I didn't really know what that prayer meant. V bistvu sploh ne vem kaj ta molitev ne bi pomenila. But I prayed the prayer. Ampak sem molil s teboj. I can nearly guarantee that tomorrow morning you're going to wake up and think, well, now what? Right? This organization that's brought me here and me we want to help you one step at a time. We want to contact you Želimo vas kontaktirati and encourage you in that faith walk.